Mike's got um, Tom's TS480 here, and uh, we want to get it on CB. <laughs> we did not. We want to get it on 5 back. <laughs> we want to put it on CB, let's be honest. <laughs> um, CB. I, I'm, I've got a little container I can put these screws in. Yes, like we have. Millions of oh, we found an old um, DX Commander end cap. Enough for me. No, you've got to be careful when you're doing this because there's a little switch here next to the shield. Yeah. Right, and if you move the switch, it will never work again. <laughs> Why? Because you forget to put it back. Oh. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> we'll see now when I take it out. There you go. My and God. And these are the fly shit we've got to remove. Bloody hell. Are they magnified by about 10? Yes. Right. Try and point to what the hell you've got to remove. Right. There are four right. resistors there, but only two are populated. The other two are already empty. empty. Okay, that allows uh, 7.2 and 7.3 ah. megahertz um, tuning. Yeah. That one is the block for TX uh, for the 7.2, 7.3. And that one is the block for all other bands. Uh -huh. So we're moving all four of those, and that wide bands it completely. Oh, uh, okay. My goodness. Right, 380, 380. Can I have a blob of soda, please? Uh, by the way, a couple of times we've mentioned um, LZ4DJ Keith, who has sent me a picture of himself. Keith's come a long way since the last picture of him. Uh, I better do a voiceover because Mike is trying to take these things up and you can't see what he's doing. But oh, you've got it. It's my. Mm. John, put it on this white piece of paper. I can do. Bloody hell! I can't even see it. Okay, well, if you can see a little dot there, that's what he's just removed. I remember years ago wide banding an FT eighty eight hundred, so I could get on PMR four four six. Yeah. And after doing what you're doing now, I actually couldn't find it. I think it, I left it somewhere in the case. That's quite possible, isn't it? What's wrong with it? A there. few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> so he has removed these enormous great components which you can't see. They're referred to as flea shit. Flea shit. <laughs> and then do you need to do a reset, do you think, Mike? Or? No, it automatically does it. Okay. But we'll do that anyway, just to be... Uh, on the safe side. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to wideband their own radio, is it just a case of going on the internet and watching someone else? Pretty much. Is that what you did? Yeah. Pretty did the manufacturers normally tell us um, which one does what, or does that come out of the, like, of the repair shop? Right, it's actually, in this particular instance, this was actually in the um, workshop manual. Uh, okay. Because... There are the the US ones, the United States versions of this, don't have the same um, resistor stroke diode, what, call it what you will, mm. uh, bridging pattern. Network. Yeah. Mm. So you can deduce from the fact that they've got those resistors in and we've got these. Uh, and if you take them all away completely, doesn't it's just like all of them put yeah, together. Yeah, all right. So it's, yeah. Doesn't take a genius. Not really. All right, well, Mike's just putting it back together now. Thank you very much. That's how to wide band a 480. With a bit of fun and uh, humour thrown in the process. And sorry about the swearing, that was Mike. Not me, wanker. <laughs>